Cursor is back with a 600K token context window for Claude Sonnet 4 that I think is gonna change your workflow. And it already has me converting back from using Claude code. Yes, I was using a lot of Claude code and I really think this workflow is gonna change a lot of people's lives and we're still early on this. And so I have been playing around with the 600K token context window. I know Claude Sonnet 4 announced a 1 million token context window, but Cursor is now allowing you to use it so that you can have the extended thinking and the outputs and everything that basically probably comes out to 1 million token context window. I posted this on X and it's actually going viral. So I thought it'd be a good idea to make a little video because the latest update with Cursor is incredibly fast. I'm outputting documents at a speed that I haven't really seen in Claude code. And somehow Cursor, his latest update with like their understanding of my repo and everything is like the new magic sauce that I think that you should play around with if you haven't done so already. If you already have a workflow, I know people are coming already with like heavily invested in Claude code, but I would just say give it a shot. And I'm, I'll probably see if I can do a quick demo because I got to head out in like 20 minutes to go ahead and walk my dog. Uh, but the, the response has been absolutely crazy. And so you're probably saying, okay, what about the price and what about everything else? It's like, if I can get really good quality code with a very large index, you know, with, with a very large context and not introduce context rot, I'm willing to pay more money. I'm willing to drop my cloud code and pay like double the costs if I can actually get better quality output. So for those who don't know, as soon as you start hitting that like 100K token context window, which is a couple of queries in cloud code, you got to clear that context. Otherwise, you start to introduce rot. And so now here with cursor and the 600,000 token context window, I'm generating huge amounts of research to dig through my large repo and grab files and do different things for planning. And I've been able to ship a couple different features super duper fast. So I want to show you some of the conversations I've had. And they've been like really, really ridiculous for um, like the speed and, and stuff. So like yesterday, I basically had it review an issue um, as far as like how I was doing like research and everything. And what it basically does is it just goes through super fast in the repo. And then I have it generate like a big markdown file. So the, the my flow of how I'm using it right now is a couple of things. I basically say, go ahead and just do some research. I want to implement this feature. Just grab every single file that you need possible and read through the context and then go ahead and generate like a new markdown file so that we can go ahead and do the planning. And then what, what I ended up doing in my repo here is like I actually have a documentation section and that it, puts, it, uh, it makes the whole plan for its features. And so I'll show you what these, some of these plans look like. And uh, let me just kind of get rid of this at the bottom. And so these plans are extremely comprehensive. They're like probably 500, 600 lines. And it basically writes it all in one shot, which is awesome. And so what I do is the, the next thing you want it to do is with this large token context window and it actually able to look through your code, you basically want it to also list out the feature implementation in chunks. So you want to tell it saying, I want to implement this feature, but make sure we can implement it in chunks because I want an AI agent to go through this or another engineer to go through this section by section. And that way we can kind of test and verify at each stage. And once it generates the plan, the next step that I do in the conversation, since we have such a large uh, context window, I've maybe only used 100K tokens, I still have a very large amount to go. So now I can iterate on this really large plan and the existing context in my conversation. And the next thing that you wanna do there is just say, I want to reuse some of the code in my repo and I don't want you to invent new code or so forth because a lot of times Claude Sonnet, even though you have this large context window, is still gonna to want to write new pieces of code to implement new features. And so what it ends up doing is gonna say, you're absolutely right and that's okay. And then you want it to go back and then iterate on the plan and say, oh, I, I see existing code patterns that I can go ahead and leverage. So that second iteration on that really large plan is super important that you can do and you can do that in cursor and it's super duper fast. And I find that really quite amazing that you can do that with this now new large uh, context window. This, this was only reserved for the higher tiers in Claude code over the API, and it's actually now available in Cursor. And so apparently it's gonna be coming to Claude code and some people are getting that rolled out, but that's also gonna require the $200 a month max plan. And I just thought, hey, let's kind of just pop in the chat real quick, answer some questions. I know a lot of people have a lot of questions on this workflow. 
and I can kind of walk you through before I have to head out like in 15 minutes. So uh, big shout out to Cry Devs, also Jan as well. Uh, big shout out to uh, Davidas as well. Uh, do the max make it so that it takes more money? Uh, probably yes. I think they're going to charge you the API rates. I haven't seen the stuff posted online yet, but I just got access to it and I was like, yo, this is so good. We have to do this. Um, we'll come to Cloud Code soon. I hope so. I really hope so. Cloud Code is better, in my opinion, for better value. So yeah, um, there's another equation here. So a lot of people are trying to compare this to pricing. So is the pricing better? Of course, yes. If you're using Cloud Code and you're heavily invested, you've done all these workflows. As an engineer, maybe like it's, you know, just keep doing your thing. But as a person who likes to use the latest, like latest and greatest, I actually have spent a lot of time in code and I enjoy cursor and the cursor workflow. I move extremely fast because I'm very thoughtful in terms of what I want to be done. And so if you have a lot of experience with coding and you know what you want to change, having this large context window as an engineer with some experience is now your best cheat code because you can just fly. And that's what I feel like I'm doing. I feel like I'm flying. If you're vibe coding and you don't really understand all the nitty gritty bits and pieces, what's happening in your database, what's happening in the UI layers, what's happening on all these different places or how to describe what those things are, it's going to take you a longer time to figure out and you're going to have to spend more tokens to get that level of understanding. But the, the better the understanding you get, and then you introduce this type of tool, now you're very efficient and moving very fast. So I would say that is this for everyone? Probably not. If you're an engineer and you have lots of experience and you already want a fast IDE like Cursor, this moves really fast in terms of, uh, we're, we're going to try some things I could probably try to show you real quick. I might even just create a new project uh, or just use my existing project here. Uh, and we can just, you know, because I'm basically iterating on some feature changes and stuff uh, and kind of want to show you some of that workflow. Uh, should I use the 20 bucks a month for Claude Sonnet or buy Cursor? Uh, you know, okay, at this point, if you're going to do agentic coding, you're going to have to spend that like 200 bucks a month, like type of thing, because it's going to require a lot of things. I um, want to make sure I can answer this phone call because I'm actually taking care of a loved one and make sure. Um, oh, okay. Hi, are, you, are you okay? Um, I just want to make sure that they're okay because um, I like supposed to be kind of taking them to the, the not the hospital, but the uh, for, for medical care in like, like a couple of minutes and stuff. So um, I might have to pop off in a little bit, but uh, yes, the price seems a little bit of a big issue. Um, oh yeah, so if you're gonna spend 20 bucks, you're probably better off depending on like what you're doing. Uh, you okay? Okay. I, I gotta go guys, bye.